Everyone knows that at some point in history, birds and reptiles were the same species. Unless, of course, they were created by God, in which case, forget everything I'm going to be saying. One day, a young lizard was feeling a little awkward because his scales were coming in a bit hollow and a bit light. And all of the other lizards on that rock back in prehistory were making fun of him. Uh, hey, Mr. Light, light scales, why don't you jump from the rock? And being the awkward simpleton that he was, he did, in hopes that his jumping from those monkey bars would help solidify his acceptance in their peer group. But it only reinforced his ostracizations, if you will. Well, one beautiful lizard could upon herself to mate with him. <laughs> At that young age, who would have thought? But their child, their offspring, if you will, was even more awkward and more gangly, and his snout came into a beak, and his scales were more lighter and featherier. And that generation of peers forced him to jump from even higher heights. Even higher heights! Mind you, we're still talking about rocks and lizards. Until one day, they weren't just jumping from rocks. They were soaring. Birds. They were flying. And then all the lizards were lining up saying, please, mate with me, fornicate with me. But it was too late, wasn't it? The hawk would swoop down on the evil serpent and rip it apart with the talons, eating its flesh like SpaghettiOs. Final summation, birds fly, because in the face of adversity, we adapt to be better than those that try to bring us down. Rate, comment, subscribe, fly like the bird you are, and dance like the serpent you could be.